A developing story overseas now. The U.S. is carrying out retaliatory airstrikes after a deadly drone attack that killed an American contractor and six others in northeastern Syria. A U.S. official reporting a U.S. base was also attacked today, though no one was injured. Here's ABC's Rena Roy. At the direction of President Biden, the U.S. firing precision airstrikes into Syria, targeting Iranian-backed groups after a deadly drone attack in northeastern Syria on a U.S. base that killed an American contractor, injured another, and wounded five U.S. service members. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin saying in part, as President Biden has made clear, we will take all necessary measures to defend our people and will always respond at a time and place of our choosing. No group will strike our troops with impunity. U.S. officials say they took deliberate action to limit the risk of escalation and minimize casualties. There are about 900 American forces in Syria as part of a counter ISIS force, including special operations, active duty, National Guard, and those contractors. And those U.S. service members are under constant threat. Since early 2021, they've been targeted more than seven. 78 times by drones and rockets by proxy groups. The Pentagon says there was another attack on a U.S. base today, but there were no injuries or any damage. American authorities saying they are ready if there are any additional Iranian attacks. Two of the Americans who were injured were treated on site, but the four others were medically evacuated to a medical facility in Iraq.